Paul's Scavino tasting room with Elisa Scavino to taste the uh, vertical of the Brick de Fiasca, both 2004, 2005, 2006, and that tremendous 2007 vintage, which everybody is talking about. But we're going to start first with the 2004, and uh, Elisa, can you tell me a little bit about um, the growing year this year, the 2004, and, and how it produced this wine? Yes, 2004. It's the first wine we are tasting. Um, it's been a fantastic year for, for Barolo, uh, for the Viola grapes. Um, very classic, so it was uh, um, quite a regular uh, spring and summer with uh, um, fantastic weather, never too hot or too rainy. So very balanced year. Very balanced year, so uh, the wine were quite a morning from the beginning and um, very very fresh and um, they are definitely going to be uh, aging very very well. So this has a long future. Absolutely, for a good yes. Well, let, let, let's do some tasting here. This is the 2004 single vineyard Brick the Fiasque and uh, tremendous tremendous wine historically. Oh, lovely dark fruit, beautiful some spice on the nose, uh, dark cherry perhaps, and this, this is just beautiful. That's just a classic, classic Barolo. It's very juicy in the mouth. Lots of beautiful, ripe, rich fruit in this. It's very soft, soft tannins. Um, just a beautiful wine. Yes, it's a definitely a vintage where the ripeness of the viola was perfect, so with the, the texture of the tannin is uh, really great, they are very fruity and um, it's a very structured vintage but uh, very very harmonic as so. well. Oh, great, great effort on, on the part of you and your father and, and everybody here. Wonderful wine, Thank just you. delicious. <laughs> Next wine in the vertical tasting of the Brick de Fiasque is the 2005 vintage and why don't you tell us about the growing year that year, uh, Elisa? Yes, a vintage that uh, distinguished itself for uh, great uh, elegance and uh, um, a little bit more minimal in the structure than uh, O4 and O6s. Uh, you have a very fresh acidity and quite still younger tannins. Uh, beautiful aromatics, so it's a very, very charming uh, vintage with a good hatch, so it's a vintage that um, I think uh, is going to age very well and definitely I think it's a vintage that will uh, uh, reserve as a very interesting vintage of five that uh, has fantastic potential that is quite forward so you, you, you see the, the complexity already even if it's very young sure. uh, and it's a very well it's a very expressive right now. So. Well, let's, let's test the 2005. Yes. 2005 with the Fiesque single vineyard. This wine has a lot of expect it has a lot of structure to it. I was expecting something maybe a little just a little bit toned down, but there's um, this good body to this wine, there's good fruit, um, very good tannins. Um, you can tell that, that this is a wine that, that will have a, a, a great aging potential. Mm -hmm. Um, the tannins are very, very solid, but the wine is, uh, is juicy, delicious. Uh, this is a wonderful effort in 2005, um, so very, very happy with it. He wants me. Oh yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> Smell it. Lino. Lino, try it. If you're a special dog, you get to smell and taste wine. Yes. <laughs>